Hello, this is Mike Lyle, and welcome to Programming PHP, lesson number 13, Array Functions. And we're actually going to spend a little bit of time talking about arrays because they're just so important. And in this lesson, and probably going to cover two videos at least, we're going to talk about simple array examples, associative array examples, uh, basic array methods, comma-separated data, using the methods implode and explode, and slicing and splicing. So we're just going to get right to it and... So we're going to get right to the meat of the data, and we're going to go through this as quickly as possible. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open up Eclipse. And we are working with Eclipse because we're specifically interested, because we're specifically interested in moving all this into Adobe Flash Builder. Adobe Flash Builder runs in Eclipse. If you learn PHP in Eclipse and you're not used to Flash Builder, once you get into Flash Builder, it's the same Eclipse environment. You're going to find it very easy to work with. So here we are in the uh, PHP Eclipse, and what I want to make sure I've done is select the correct folder. So I'm going to go here to this little arrow. That's my run arrow, and at this arrow I'm going to click on that and go to Run Configurations. And I want to make sure that I've selected uh, the Lesson 13 Erase Function.php. So we're on Lesson 13. I want to make sure that folder is selected. If not, go ahead and just browse to it. Go to PHP Course and browse to it. Now, of course, if you don't have this folder, you, you can download it from my Google Code. And if you don't get that, just follow along and type in your own methods and uh, everything will work. Now once you've done that, you can go ahead and run. And you can actually run that program and it outputs everything. Now I've done a little bit more uh, HTML programming here. You can see I've got some bold tags here. And I've got some separations here. Let's go ahead and see how we did that with the PHP program itself. So let's open up Lesson 13. And uh, once again, I've got my boilerplate. So I've got my uh, HTML tags and my header tags and then my body tag. And all my PHP runs between those body tags. Now I can separate PHP up in little chunks by just putting a PHP tags in. That's what I've actually done in this particular program. I put a PHP tag here and an ending tag here. Then some HTML with uh, basically a bolding tag and a paragraph tag. And I said, hey, let's go ahead and uh, put a little title there. And let's put another PHP chunk. And that's what I did. And all the way through the program, I actually have little chunks of PHP where I basically put some HTML and, and then I put some uh, PHP. And I'm doing that to separate out things and make them a little bit more neat. But uh, you didn't have to do that. You can make it all just one big program. Uh, we're just learning PHP right now. We're not really, uh, in a sense, running any applications or building applications yet, but we will be getting to that. Now, arrays are so important because it's going to enable you to work with data very efficiently and parse data and do all the neat things that you can do with data. Let's go ahead and just take a look at a little simple array review. So in this particular review, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a numbers array. And arrays are so simple to create in PHP. You pretty much just uh, create a variable by using the dollar sign. Just declare the array method and just put whatever you want in the array to go. And as we said before, the first value in the array is the zeroth value. So uh, pretty much with simple arrays, and we're going to talk about associative arrays next, you have what's called a label value or a key value uh, scenario and so so we have this array we have the one two three four five and six we're going to just print that out using the print r statement I got a little echo break tag here just to give me another break so let's go ahead and run that and take a look and see if indeed we do get that uh, method out so I'll go ahead and hit my run drop down arrow and go run configurations go ahead and run that and you can see it does print out my array one two three four five six but what's important here is this notation I mean if you've never seen this notation a little bit you can get kinda of confused about it you see it in PHP all the time in code and it's very simple it's kind of an equals greater than sign now you may not be familiar with this uh, particular notation in PHP and uh, is that equal to greater than sign and what you have is your key value and so basically this right here is my key which is zero that's a zero position in this array and then this is my value which is one so you'll constantly see that label value or key value pair in PHP appearing constantly and many, and many times when you transmit things over the web you're always transmitting that label value or key value across it so I'm basically showing you here's my key and it's one and the next one key is two three four five and six that's your array but you know I want to actually maybe I want to put another value in so for this third value right here maybe I don't want uh, three maybe I want dog so let me show you how to do that so let's go back to the program so it's very simple to substitute a number in for any position in an array all you have to do is uh, basically use its key and put in its value go ahead and run the program and there you see I've actually put dog in for a position or key value too so that's the way it works so let's look at the associative arrays which are so important in uh, PHP now 
if you use the flash builder, uh, another name for associative arrays is a dictionary. And basically what a dictionary allows you to do, it allows you to represent a value in an array by something different than just a number. So you're talking about your keys don't just have to be numbers, they can actually be strings. And so in this particular uh, array, we call this array three, what I'm actually doing is I'm assigning a new key values, but I'm not using uh, numbers, I'm actually using strings. And so first name is equal to Kevin, that's the value. And uh, last name, that's equal to Lively. So this should print out Kevin Lively if I actually uh, run the array. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we can see what I'm showing you is I'm printing out the array. So actually, here's my key, and here's my value, and here's my key, and here's my value. And if I go back to the lesson, what I do right here is I uh, want to print out a specific value. And so I can actually use that key, which is first name, and that will print out Kevin. Let's go ahead and run that. And so I actually just print out Kevin. So I, I know I spent a lot of time on this, but I want to make sure that you specifically understand that associate arrays are so important because you want to do things logically and, and since make them human readable. And so if I know that in a form letter I put in first name I'm gonna as my key, I'm gonna get the first name of whatever that individual is in that particular array. And or last name as my key, I'll get the hit's last name as opposed to zero, one, two, three. It's not necessarily human readable. So dictionaries and associative arrays are very important in PHP. Just want to make that uh, very clear. Let's move on to PHP functions real quick and then we'll wrap up this particular video. So what I want to do now is basically just address a number of very simple functions that are constantly used in uh, working with arrays. Uh, there's the count method. And so if you just stick your array into the count method, you'll get the number of elements in the array. There's a max method, which will give you the max uh, value in the array. And there's the min method that will give you the min value in that array. Let's go ahead and take a look at this particular array. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. That means I should get six values as my count. My max should be six, and my min should be uh, one. Let's see if that works. Let's go ahead and run this program. And we'll slide down here. And this is printing out my array. And we can see I do have a count of six, I do have a max value of six, and I do have a min value of one. So that worked very nicely. Let's take a look at a few more methods. Now what I've done right here, I've actually scrambled my array a little bit. So I have five, two, one, four, and six, because there's a nice little method here, and it's called sort. So I'm actually going to sort my array, and just use a sort method, that's all there is to it. And it'll sort from one, two, three, or four. Or, or I can reverse sort, which actually reverse sorts in the other way. So basically that should give me 6, 5, 4, 3, and 1. Let's see if the sort method works. So let's go ahead and run that program. Come down here. And uh, my original array, here it is right here. You can see it's 5, 2, 1, 4, 3. And then it sorts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Or I reverse sort 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. It works very nicely. Now in the next topic, we're going to talk about something that's so important in PHP. And that's working with comma-separated data. So in this particular video, we just hit the highlights of, once again, remind you about arrays and how simple arrays work. Talked about associative arrays. And we talked about a few important array methods, such as count, max, min, sort, and reverse sort. So we'll pick this up on common separate data next time. Hey, thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.